Hey there, lovely people of the internet. You know, I've been doing a plethora of Waifu Wednesdays recently, and I thought it would be a nice change of pace to finally do another episode of Husbando Monday. How much do you want to bet that this wasn't actually uploaded on a Monday? Ray? What the hell are you doing here again? Listen, Evan, whenever you're going to talk about a husbando, especially one of my favorite ones during these past few months, then I'm going to come barging in. And I'm making the entire script for this video again, and I'm editing the whole video. So don't start complaining, because look how much time you wasted already when the audience is just waiting for you to move on into the video and just announce who this potential husbando will be. I mean, they could just look at the title and the thumbnail, but sheesh, dude, you don't have to get so heated at me. Anyway, we'll be comparing the pros and cons of your favorite husbando and see if he has what it takes to truly take home the title of best boy. And in this video, we'll be looking at Haiji from Run With The Wind. Now Haiji's backstory is quite extensive, so hold on to your butts and let's get to it. As it might seem obvious, Haiji was in track and field during all of his high school years. However, he seriously got himself injured from training far too hard when trying to get faster. Because of this injury, he lost all hope of getting a scholarship to a good college, and his dream of running in the Hakone Ikiren seemed far too impossible to reach now. Especially since he enrolled into a college that had a non-existing track team. This was a career-ending injury, and most people would probably give up. But even after all that, Haiji still never lost hope. After going through rehabilitation and training as hard as he could to be able to win like he did back then, he still chased after his dreams, no matter what anyone tells him. This just shows the amount of dedication and passion Haiji has, and it's just inspiring to see. And that's not all for his personality. He's also really smart. So smart, in fact, that he was able to persuade all nine other residents of his own dorm to become members of the track team. Well, he technically had to straight up threaten Prince to join, or he would have kicked him out. But, uh, no, no one's really paying attention to that bit. But one of the most amazing things about his personality was his worth ethic. Because he was the one who did everything for the team. And I mean everything. He was the captain, the manager, the coach, and was cooking for everyone every day. Haji was working so hard that he actually passed out from being overworked. And after he recovered, he went right back to helping everyone. That just proves that Haji is a man that you can rely on to support you no matter what happens. Finally, like in every Husbando Monday, or at least like the, the last two that we've done because this is definitely a running series on this channel, physical prowess is still of absolute importance. We get a good indication of Haiji's physical prowess when he does the 20 kilometer run for qualifications of the Hakone Ekiden. Now, we don't know the exact time it takes Haiji to finish that run, but if we take the time it took for Kakeru to finish, which is 58 minutes and 15 seconds, then add the total screen time it took for Haiji to finish, then we would get a total of 59 minutes and 10 seconds. Now, this is just a rough estimate, seeing how they didn't show Haiji crossing the finish line. But we believe it's fair to say that Haiji finished the race at just under or exactly at 1 hour, meaning that Haiji can run at a pace of 12.4 miles for at least an hour. That is quite some stamina, and it could probably be used in some other scenarios, if you know what I mean, ladies. Speaking of the ladies, and of course my dudes in the back, let's finally talk about his appearance. Have you ever once sat on a park bench on the side of a lake, looking out at how glorious nature is? Thinking of an ex machina fusion between The Rock and Zac Efron? Well, neither have I. Haiji goes beyond arguably the two greatest looking men on planet Earth, don't at me. He has the eyes of an eagle, if eagles had big eyes. His hair, while 2D and flat, still looks like it's full of fluff and has charm of its own. His smile makes my member grow taller and I'm sure it'll leave all women flowing like a broken fire hydrant. His collarbone protruding his skin shows the mark of athleticism and serves as a leading line down to his sweet, muscular arms and very, very nice chest. And the best part, the absolute best part, is that he has nipples! Not many anime characters have nipples! This! This right here is the most defining thing about Haiji's body! And I want to be all over it, under it, on top of it, and above all else, inside of it! Okay... Hey guys, so sorry to interrupt the video, but the generous and awesome folks over at Loot Crate decided to reach out to me, and, well, now I am one of their official influencers. Now, do I know what that means? 
No. Now, for those of you that don't know what Loot Crate is, you were probably born this year, but they are a subscription box company and they have been around for quite some time. And for instance, if you get their Loot Anime Crate, you can get collectible items from anime from the past and the present, and it'll be of a $60 value or more. And every month there's cool new themes that the boxes are based around. So for instance, the items featured in the box this month are from Alita, which I think is gonna be a great movie, Dragon Ball Super, Fate Stay Night, Heaven's Feel, and Yume. And now you're probably wondering what I have to do with any of this. Well, if you use my affiliate link in the description down below, or just go to lootcrate.com slash evanito, or also just use the coupon code evanito, that'll save you 10 percent at checkout so that's lootcrate.com slash evanito or just the coupon code evanito to save 10 percent on your next loot crate and that that covers any loot crate guys that's pretty damn awesome i don't know about you guys but i think that's a pretty damn good deal and that's just one more way to support the channel like always you can always just hit subscribe hit that notification bell share my videos with your friends like them or just support me on Patreon. But overall, this is just a new way to support the channel. I am very grateful and thankful to the folks over at Loot Crate for reaching out to me. So thank you guys, and I'll just let you get back to the video now. Now with everything put on the table, it's time to give Haiji a certified Hospando rating based on Evan's arbitrary scoring system. And I give Haiji the score of eight out of 10. And I've awarded him with a glorious score of- <coughs> Actually, who am I? Who am I kidding? I also gave him an eight out of 10. Also, this voice really hurts my throat, guys. Uh, but seriously, I did the math, and he's, he's just a hard eight, which gives us an average score of uh, eight, meaning that your best boy is definitely husbando material. But not better than Ash Lynx, who we ended up giving an 8.1. Link in the description. Anyhow, guys, hats off to Ray the Otaku, aka RTO, for helping me out on this video. Uh, he was the one that wrote and edited this entire video. So please, please, please go down to the link in the description below or hit the card that just popped up and go subscribe to him. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on his channel. I could not do this video without him. I literally would not have done this video without him. And I think he deserves all of the credit so please go subscribe to his channel he is honestly one of my favorite anti-tubers and he doesn't have nearly enough subscribers please guys go subscribe i know i've said that like 12 times now but i definitely mean it thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'm gonna see you guys next time